Your next vehicle from Community Motors of Mason City. Great service from three locations. Community and Monroe, Community Motors Westside, and Mason City Ford. Ten new franchises and hundreds of vehicles to give you more choices. Plus, Community offers an exclusive 3-3 warranty on pre-owned vehicles and 10-year, 250,000-mile warranty on new. Need more reasons why? Stop or visit communityautogroup.com. Because nobody beats a community deal. Three now since you went to Clemens, and he's got 21 assists, only two turnovers. How is this team different with him running the show? Well, I think everybody, anytime you have a guy with those kind of numbers, everybody around you settles down. You know, there's no, uh, there's no panic in anybody. Now, now we've got to, now we've got to do it in a neutral site. Eventually, we're going to have to do it on the road. That's different, you know. But uh, good news is we've we've got experience now. You know, in those positions, I think we'll be fine. Iowa State, uh, good three-point shooting team, good rebounding team. You're able to neutralize those for the win. Uh, you and I. Different style of play, but similar type of results. Good three-point shooting team, and, and yeah, you know, I think that's true, Scott. I mean, you and I has got a lot of weapons, and and those are the kinds of teams that, that give you trouble when you're trying to scheme to how, how you're going to defend them. They spread you out. Uh, their bigs can shoot threes. Their guards shoot threes. Uh, they're they're substantially more athletic than I think anybody ever gives them credit for. Uh, I, I never really understood that, but I mean, they've got guys that can go by you at every position. Uh, you know, they're going to be physical defensively, and uh, and they're big and strong. They've got depth. I mean, they've got upperclassmen. They've got guys that've been around. So, uh, you know, it's a team that that will challenge us in a lot of ways. You look at this Big Four Classic, Fran has been going back to your Siena day, Siena days, where it's it's a great opportunity for Northern Iowa and Drake to. Make a mark against a BCS school. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't look at it that way. I look at it, you know, we got another good team on our schedule. And we're going to try to beat them. I mean, that's really the only way I look at it. Uh, it's a team that, without a doubt, in my view, will be one of the top two or three teams in that league. I mean, it's probably, you know, I don't know that I have a great history of that conference, but. When you think about where they are at the top, there haven't been too many years where there have been that many really good teams with, you know, uh, obviously Creighton, Wichita State, Northern Iowa, Illinois State. I mean, they got some really good teams in that league with big time players. And so I just look at it as an opportunity to play another team that, that I consider to be one of the premier teams on our schedule. Over the past couple of years, Northern Iowa has kind of carried the banner for the state. They beat Kansas, got to the Sweet 16. Do you find your program is kind of chasing them still a little bit, trying to get to where they kind of? Uh, no, you know, you know. I think the thing about about this is, you know, that happened a while ago, you know, and that's that's why we have a new season. Uh, you know, and I don't, you know, they didn't. Go to the Sweet 16 last year. You know we don't know who's going to the Sweet 16 this year. We'll have to figure that out. Brand, being a, a Philly guy and obviously having an affection for the Big Five, is this is this a way to keep these in-state rivalries alive without having to have that home and home with a mid-major, which is kind of disadvantage, disadvantageous? You know, I, I think that's a that's a very legitimate question, but I do think you know it's a different era. All right, when I, when I grew up in Philadelphia. We went to the Plestra expecting to see a doubleheader every Saturday night. And we went there uh, to see five teams, essentially. You know, we're going to see five teams that night. Obviously, we're going to see four. But, and usually, it's one from somewhere else. But uh, we wanted to see great college basketball. You got there at 6.30, and you, were, you didn't leave until after 11 o'clock. And you just stayed there for two games and, and, and watched great college basketball. Now. People are more affiliated with a particular team, and that's happened in Philly. I mean, they don't have doubleheaders there anymore. You know, Villanova fans got to the point where they didn't want to watch Temple. You know, when I grew up, I, you know, I, I I didn't have an affiliation. I didn't go to either school, and that's the way a lot of college basketball fans were there. So I think if you look at a college basketball fan in this state, he can go Saturday and watch four really good teams play. 
and really enjoy for a relatively inexpensive ticket, have a great day of college basketball. That said, you know, there's going to be some Hawkeye fans that come for our game and leave and some Iowa State fans that come later and same for Drake in Northern Iowa. You know, will that change? Will people just say, hey, we're going to go there on this day and watch two games? You know, I hope so. I think that was the plan. But, you know, you never know. I mean, we live in a world that, you know, people just don't go to college basketball games now planning to stay there for five hours. They just don't run their lives that way anymore. And so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I guess, could you talk about how uh, Adams seems to have kind of found his offensive groove these last couple of games and really seems to be having success? Well, yeah, I think for him, the key is stay out of foul trouble, which he's done. Uh, we're going to him a lot more. He's really playing with a lot of confidence, making his free throws. I mean, he's going either way. Uh, but I think it's a function of we're making a concerted effort to find him, and he's playing more minutes. I think that, that, that's really been a big thing for him. The more minutes he gets, the more comfortable he's going to be. Talk about the spacing you and I has on offense. Uh, they shoot the ball from the perimeter, sometimes deep from the perimeter, and then they're... Uh, how much did that elevate your guys' game? Uh, it's helped a lot. Um, we basically battle at it every day. Um, you know, he's, he's a great defender, and it's helped my game personally, just going against someone like that every day in practice. And, you know, we, we, learn, we learn stuff from each other's games, and, you know, I think we complement each other very well. Talk about playing you and I at Wells Fargo there on Saturday. I mean, they're a team that's had a lot of success in recent years. Oh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, the, the fans should be great. Um, the atmosphere will be be fantastic. Um, you and I is a very good basketball team. Um, they're they're a dangerous team in the ways that they they shoot very well, and so you can't let them get too hot. And you know they they're also always a very disciplined team. So we got to come out there and you know stick to our game plan and play the way that we know we can. You probably faced some of the you and I guys Saturday. Wells Fargo neutral court, lots of fans. What do you think of the setup? Or, uh, what do you think of you and I? Um, you and I is a good team. They always have been, uh, especially in the past few years. I mean, they're they're solid. Um, they play a really good, good solid game, and uh, I can't wait to go out to Wells Fargo because it's it's a great great stadium, great atmosphere with uh, two in-state teams, hour and a half away. It's it's going to be a, a good one. They've beaten us, and we've beaten them, and um, you know they're a great team. Um, Tough-minded team, uh, you know. Coach Jacobson does a great job down there, and um, you know we just have to come in ready, uh, you know, be the tougher team, and uh, just prepare to, you know, for the game. So playing uh, you and I losing last year, yeah, is that a motivating factor going into this? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, anytime you you know lose 20, 20 plus points or more, and all the stuff that went on in the game, it's uh, you know definitely a motivating factor. Uh, we don't want that to ever happen again, and uh, you know they out toughed us that game and. Um, you know, that's something we, you know, we don't take lightly. This year, what makes you and I tick this season? Uh, you know, they, they have a lot of great players uh, that come in off the bench. Um.